A group is calling on the federal government to fix refineries in Nigeria in order to save the country trillions of naira spent on oil subsidy. The group made the call at a press conference in Abuja, stressing that fixing the refineries would reduce the cost of pre premium motor spirit in Nigeria. Our correspondent was there and files in this report. Fuel subsidies have been in Nigeria since the 1970s. It began with the government routinely selling petrol to Nigerians below the actual cost. But most Nigerians are unaware that this was being done. At this gathering of Civil Society Group for Good Governance, they believe if refineries in Nigeria are fixed, it will save the country trillions of naira spent on oil subsidy. It was stated recently that the country needs to spend a princely 3 trillion naira on, on subsidy in 2022. In the light of this homongous sum, we join well-meaning Nigerians in calling on the federal government to speed up the rehabilitation of the refineries to improve availability of products locally and reduce importation. It is also important that the federal government also ensures that the right policies are in place and improve the country's domestic refinery capacity to meet local demand before subsidy removal is implemented. What we are calling on is on the new management of NMPC to ensure that within the shortest possible time, within a, a time frame, fix our refineries. That would, as a matter of fact, the, the issue of subsidy will become a tail, will become a tail of the past. The convener further states that the new Petroleum Industry Act and the transitioning of NNPC to a limited liability company, Nigerians now expect more transparency and accountability in the petroleum industry. We expect nothing less than more transparency, more accountability, more performance, and more value to Nigerians. Nigeria can no longer tolerate the inefficiencies of the old NPC in this new dispensation. This year, about 3 trillion naira is expected to be spent on oil subsidy, and the group insists that not removing subsidy before now had caused the increase in pump price of fuel.